So as expected, with the release of iOS 26 Beta 5, that is exactly what iOS 26 Public Beta 2 is based off of. And we're gonna talk about some of the changes here and what you guys more so wanna know, how is the performance and battery life? So first things first, let's knock it out of the gate. iOS 26 Public Beta 2 or Beta 5 is definitely the smoothest one yet. Battery life, it's still a little early to tell. However, it does feel better. The phone's not warming up as much and has been very consistent with every action you might wanna take. Now, even extra animations that have been added, when you swipe up, you can see the little bounce effect here. Everything just kind of smoothly works, as crazy as that sounds. But let's jump into some of the other changes really quick that you guys can see. And one of the ones is gonna make you guys very happy from the changes from Public Beta 1. And that's as far as how you swipe to control everything down here. So, used to, when you swipe to the left, the menu goes right, and when you swipe to the right, the menu goes left. Now Apple has actually added something in settings to give you the option to change this. So under settings and camera, if you scroll down, you now have an option for the classic mode switching. So as you can see, it simply reverses a scroll direction of mode switching. This is clearly a customer complaint Apple has actually taken to heart and implemented. This should be a pillar of how to handle things like this going forward. I know obviously we've talked about liquid glass. It has been a ton of complaints and that's why it was tweaked so much during these betas, but there's been mockups on a slider for liquid glass users have created and it looks amazing. We know it's probably something Apple will never implement, but having seen this, it does give a slight bit of hope that Apple will one day give us slider options for better preferences with that. Next is in the mail options here. When you actually go to a mailbox, you now have the select option up top and you can actually simply go to select anything you want instead of having to swipe all the way through the three dot menu and go about it from there. One of the other ones is kind of new and interesting. If you hop into, let me go into photos and just select a photo here. When you go into the share sheet, we now also have a new icon for AirDrop. And I do think this looks a lot better. It kind of flows with liquid glass a little more. It just looks a little cleaner. I am a huge, huge, huge fan of this now. Definitely nice to see. Beyond that though, also on the lock screen here, when you go to unlock it, and if it doesn't register a face ID, so I'm gonna kind of turn it away from me, you'll see a new bounce animation here when the keys come up to type. Let's see if it wants to do it. Did you see that? Let's do it one more time. It's very subtle, but just again, a little tweak. Looks good. I think it's a neat little addition here, and hopefully this will be all more bouncier in the future versions, because I do like the animation effects as well. Kind of similar to how Control Center just was. And I should have talked about this while we were talking about Control Center, but one thing I don't remember being here, and correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, when you go into Wi-Fi, it never showed private or secure networks. Now you do have that little lock icon if you're seeing, um, or that way you can tell if something's secure or not. So you can see the one above, not free for you, doesn't have a lock, this one does. It's very nice to see. And then in the wallet app also, when you go into here, this has now been renamed to pre-authorized payments that will show you details right from here. There were additional splash screens that were discovered. We talked about that in our beta five video, but I do believe there is another one in free form we didn't hit. Let me go to free form and see if it pops up for us. Yep, there is a new splash screen here as well. Talking about the new iOS design, read pen tool, updates damage playground, and also recently added. And then also I thought in notes, let me take a look here really quick, yep. And sure enough, we had another pop up here, notes on Apple Watch, an adaptive toolbar, markdown export, and import. So definitely nice to see there. And then again, let's jump into settings and battery. As you guys know, we like to let you know how our battery health holds up after running all these betas for almost a year now, because as hard as it is to believe, 
the iPhone 17 series will be released in just over a month's time. So you can see we are down to 95% max capacity with pretty heavy cycle count, count, I think, 343 charges. So yes, betas do impact your battery. However, whatever Apple did this year finally fixed a lot of the mistakes from years prior. And then obviously battery usage. Again, it has been very consistent. As you can see, if you follow the channel, we are used to seeing our battery drop while we do these videos, and we haven't lost a single percent yet. Again, small sample size, everything is still resetting in the back, hasn't been a full day on beta five yet, but if you were kind of reserved on downloading public beta one, public beta two should be the way to go if you are ready to take that plunge into liquid glass and everything iOS 26. So yeah. That's going to be it for this one, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. We will catch you in the next one. Peace.